Hi. I just have a little question to ask you. Are you faithful in the things of God? As a soldier of Christ or as a soldier of God, how do you fight the battle in this war field? We are quite in the end times. When you look around the world, you see things are really happening. Different things are really happening. Things that we cannot even think about or talk about. But how do you prepare your life? How do you use yourself? How do you use your life? How do you move about your everyday life? Do you favor people? Do people benefit from you positively? Do people benefit from you negatively? How do you impact into the lives of people around you? How do you encourage people? How do you motivate people with your own life? How do you make people see the light of God in you? Yes. Is your love code? Remember the scripture says, Behave unto man as you would want them to behave unto you. For whatever measure you give to men, the same you shall receive. Double of it, shaken, pressed down, you shall receive. How do you behave to people? Are you of great compassion to people? Whatever you sow in life, you will reap. He that sows asparingly shall reap asparingly. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. Remember, the evil that men do lives with them, not any longer after them. Now it is, the evil that men do lives with them. Whatever you do, remember, there is a lot of karma. There is a lot of nature. It doesn't matter how long it lasts. The same way that truth cannot be buried. That same way that you cannot run away from whatever you do. You do good, good shall follow you. You do bad, the same you shall reap. The measure you give, the same shall be returned unto you. Please, manage well the kingdom of the master. Wherever you find yourself, in every situation, in every society, in every organization you find yourself, try the best you can to impact, to change the lives of people around you. Try the best you can to live a memory. Try the best you can to change lives positively. The scripture says, Arise and shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. It is not to be hidden, just like Christ says, that a lamp will be placed on a place where it can give light to the environment, not hidden on under a bushet. You are a light of the world. You are, you are to be set on a high hill, on a place where everybody or the environment around you will perceive and enjoy from your shining. You are the salt of the world. You have to maintain your taste. You have to maintain your flavor. You have to make sure that you do not lose your taste. You have to make sure that you don't lose your taste. You are a representative of God, of Christ here on earth. How do you represent your master? Do you represent your master for good? Do you re represent your master in the same act, in the same foundation, in the same exemplary life he has shown you or he commanded or bid you to live? How do you live your life? Remember, you are a light. And whatever little God has given to you, you have to use to use it very well. So just like Christ says, that the more you use whatever that has been given to you, the more Father shall replenish you. That he is the vine and we are the branch. Father in heaven is the, the dresser of the vine. That any branch that do not bear fruit, he shall cast away. You as a branch, are you bearing a fruitful, are you a fruitful branch of the vine? Are you bearing fruits? What kind of fruit do you bear in Christ? Are you bearing a worthy fruit that will glorify the name of God in heaven? Be a true branch of the vine. For Christ in you is the hope of victory. Christ has deposited every power and authority in you to conquer the world. For he says, be of good shares, for I have overcome the world. And he says, 
I shall be with you or I will be with you even the, to the end of times. Christ is in you. How do you represent Christ here on earth? Do all you can. For Christ is in you. Nothing can ever stop you. Thank you. And be a good manager. And manage the kingdom of God very well until he returns in his power and in his glory. Thank you and God be with you.